was that some had sent this file, this model, and says, all right, my second question is, below is a pre-charged pneumatic airgun valve, and I don't see it in McMaster. Uh, of course, it's not well-known valve. So this could be a valve from like a website that is not a McMaster. Um, is there any way to be making it without making each part separately and assembling it? And I think this is a really good one to talk about because, um, yes, so we're looking at this image here and, uh, you know, a pretty cool valve. Uh, but if you're using this for a reference in another model, you maybe don't want this to be all so detailed, right? Um, and do you have to model all the different components up? Uh, then you don't have to. Now, if you want it detailed, you can. But if you don't want to, how would I go about that? And I would definitely not do it as an assembly. What I would do is I would actually go up and say canvas, and let's throw it on this side plane here. And I would open up that file of that pneumatic valve you have there. And hit OK. And uh, if you look at it, <clears throat> you will actually see that there's dimensions on it. So if we go over to the tree over here, and we right click on it, we can calibrate it. And now we can just take one of these dimensions. So for example, 56. And make it 56. Now it's gonna get big, boom. Now it's actually to size. Next thing I probably would do is turn my origin on and place that origin somewhere on this model. So right click and hit edit canvas and drag, whoops. And drag, um, what the heck? right click at a canvas and drag this somewhere I want where I want my origin so maybe I, I say I'm gonna put it right on that side valve right there and if you were just asking me to to model this up for an assembly as somewhat reference what I would do now is literally just let's draw a rectangle and let's make it whatever the thickness is, 30 by 56, right? And now we go ahead here and say, I am going to make a, a um, relationship with this edge to this edge. And then I'm just gonna drag it down here to about there, default dimension. So if this is a reference for an assembly where you don't really need all the details, don't do all the details. Um, just just model it close here. All right, like that maybe it's close enough right there. Uh, maybe I hit alpha line, I draw this out here, and then you could actually just draw like the profile. Again, I'm just, maybe I need this in assembly. I don't really need all the details of this model. Um, you know, it's just a reference model. We could do that. We could also do the same thing over here. We drew another line going down here, over and up. D for dimension, this one's gonna be 30. This here is going to be 18 divided by two. And let's just draw that last line up there. Now again, this one actually has um, 34. This one actually has some O-rings in it, but maybe I just don't want to bring those details in. So with all these sketches now, I could go ahead and say, that's it, all these sketches. And now I'm gonna go ahead and say extrude, and I'll start with the box here, the center box. And I'm gonna turn on symmetry, and I have no idea how thick this box is. Let's just throw it out like that. Um, and if I hide my canvas for a second and turn my sketch back on, you can kind of see all the stuff we drew up. So now we could go and say revolve this one around this line. There's that, that's the one with the with the O-ring, right click, repeat, revolve this one around this. 
right click your key and this one i'm on the center line of this now you might let me just turn the sketches off again now if you're looking again we turn the, the canvas on right we, we get something that looks somewhat good now you could decide that well uh you know i i i want a little bit more detail so you could go in and say let's add uh the thread to this face 18 you could choose to just make it being a resemblance of a picture because you don't want to make this file too heavy or you might feel like well you know i have i want them modeled so now they look more real right um we could start you know doing all different kinds of things you could uh hit uh let's do a couple of fillets on the side here maybe just to make it a little bit more looking a little better um i might go in hit a on my keyboard and find a paint maybe it's a powder coat download that drag that on there now i knew that this year actually if we're looking at the canvas again um let me just open up the photo itself uh on the photo you will see that it's on the photo here it's black and but that is silver so we could go back in here saying this with faces and then we could just drag you know kind of that appearance back on there and all those faces so it looks you know this is depending on <clears throat> how detailed you want to uh, to make this i even went into photo i took that image that you just saw and i just cut out a rectangle of that dial you could bring that in as a decal if you go here and say insert and say decal and we select this face and we go and select that little dot we can move that around drag that over there right like now that is maybe this dial is maybe what makes everybody in the company kind of looking at this and i could have made it i just cut a rectangle uh but maybe this is what makes everybody kind of like understanding understand what this is when they see that that dial there you could you could cut it out you could do you could do whatever but this without without the if i turn if i turn the model thread off this is definitely the lightest we can kind of make this um i would probably maybe just you know the the model thread maybe makes it look huh, a little cooler um so if you have you know we had the dimensions we follow the dimensions on this on this part and and if we had to stuff this into an assembly this might be enough to reference a this this pneumatic valve um if we wanted to make it super detailed then you could go in and do that right you can keep on building on that we could put the o-rings in and things like this but this is a solid body one body uh resembling a whole a whole bar uh, a whole model of a lot of components but it might be good enough for that so i hope that was what you have to submit um i hope this was somewhat useful this if you like this thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down <laughs> leave me a comment